let me explain you what is row level security now suppose you have 45 stores and every store has a manager and you want uh, managers to see their specific store data now if i open this suppose sales data now sales data also has the store rows so what does row level security do row level security will automatically give the access only to the user who has the access to that specific row for example if store one has a row level security manager assigned to that store he will not see any other row here he will see only store one you go back here to power bi desktop so here is manage roles i will create a new role called uh, store manager so store manager one and i'll create another one called store manager two so store manager one has the sales data access so where i'll mention that for this one i'll create store id is equal to one so store manager one will have access to only store id one okay let's see what is this is it store id or yeah it's only store so we'll go here manage roles sales data set it will have store will store is equal to one so now if i go back here to view as option so view as so it will be store manager one okay now you can see that the moment store manager will log in he will be able to log in only with his access rights so this way you can use the row level security and for the moment you are publishing this at that time you will be giving the row level security access to it so we'll publish this again and i'll show you what is the impact of this now this rls or row level security has to be assigned to the specific user so we'll go here and refresh this data set again now you can see here that these Two row level securities are available here so one is store manager one and one is store manager two so who is the store manager one so you will be adding the user id of uh, that person here and now this row level security will be assigned to that person which means that the store manager one can only be accessible by this user so you can there could be multiple users accessing these uh, stores so what it will do you don't need to create multiple apps for multiple users you can create the same app but the moment that user will see this data this data will be filtered according to his roles and uh, according to whatever filter has been added so there is a predefined filter which is in rls so the way we filtered the report in excel similarly that it will automatically be filtered so that user won't be able to see any other report so this is how the row level security can be added and that row level security will be available only once you have added through the power bi desktop in desktop if you go to modeling in modeling you will see that security and security has managed roles so you will create the managed roles here and add the multiple roles depending upon uh, your needs and requirements and then accordingly you will add the filter so right now i have applied filter for store, store manager 1 on store 1 and store manager 2 on store 2 so dax function has to be used so entity will be value create uh, the manager for region 1 so manager type a suppose there is a type a and he will be having access to store data set i'll add here the type so type will be is equal to a and add this and now this has been added you can see here manager of type a so accordingly the data has been filtered so i'll publish this again now because i'm making changes into the data set that's the reason i need to publish this again and again so now i'll go back here to power bi service and let us refresh this again we'll go to the retail so row level security so store manager one store manager two and manager of type a store so type a could be regional store suppose so you can give the access to that specific person in case that person is in your organization so if i give the access so all the rows will be automatically filtered and he will not get access to any other region so it could be regional it could be cost center wise it could be any other information that you want to restrict to